Okay, this formula is the Rowley, Ray, Rowley, how do you spell it? Rowley Criterion. Rowley Criterion, okay. Uh, is there is an I in there? E I. <laughs> we'll see how it's spelled, right? But basically, this is for uh, telling the resolving power of telescopes or any device. And it's based on, well, here it is, right? It's based on the wavelength that you're using. The diameter of your uh, a circular opening, right? So if you've got a telescope that you're looking at something with, right, that is like, right, we're talking about this diameter here is D, if that's your telescope, right, and you're looking in the eyepiece here or something like that, right? Okay. Um, and then this is the angle of resolution. So if you've got a couple stars up here, right, that you're trying to resolve and you're seeing them from here, right, it's the angle between them right there. That's your angle. Okay, um, and notice that the bigger the aperture you have, the smaller that radius is, right? The smaller wavelength you use, the smaller that um, uh, angle is, right? Now, the reason this is, is that even a single aperture like this, light going through it will interfere because the light that goes through one side goes a slightly different path length than the other side, right? And so what you get is this little uh, single slit interference pattern. And the notion is that this minimum right there Okay, if you superpose another star's image on that minimum, then it can be resolved, right? So here's this peak falls right above that minimum. This peak falls above that peak's minimum, okay? Here's a picture. These are two stars that are totally overlapping. These stars are, are, are separated by the Raleigh criterion. You could argue that maybe you could resolve them if they were closer, but this is generally accepted. We just say, well, this if it's closer than the Raleigh criterion, if the angle is smaller than that between them, like this, you know, if it's smaller than this, we can't resolve them. If it's bigger than that, we can resolve them. And if it's the same as that, then you have to go ask your mom or dad. Okay.